week on the Real Women of Philadelphia Season 3 and I'm Cheryl Lundquist and I am making some creamy polenta with the help of Philadelphia cooking cream tomato and basil variety. What I have done is I have brought to boil in a large pot three cups of chicken stock, two cups of heavy cream, and four tablespoons or half a stick of butter. It is now boiling over medium high heat so I'm going to reduce the heat to low and I'm going to stir in, pour slowly and stir in one and a half cups of yellow cornmeal. You want to stir continuously so it doesn't get uncovered for 25 minutes. I'm going to add a little salt and pepper to it and then the creaminess is going to come from our tomato and basil. All, all that flavor and a little bit of grated parmesan. Now the first time I ever had polenta was in Little Italy in Baltimore and being from the south I grew up eating grits. So I thought it was grits on the side and then I got this mouthful I'm like it's similar but it's not quite the same. So I call them Italian grits but uh, I love polenta. I love it in the log form you know where you can fry it in a pan but my favorite way is creamy. So we're going to make just a basic creamy polenta that's been kicked up with the help of Philadelphia. After stirring in the cornmeal, if any lumps remain, give it a good whisk. That'll get rid of any lumps in our polenta. My polenta is done. I did come back and check on it periodically and give it a good stir so it can stick to the bottom. Now I'm going to stir in half a cup of grated Parmesan cheese while it's still nice and hot so it'll get all melted. Nicely stirred in creamy tomato and basil polenta. I cannot wait to taste it. I ended up using the entire 10 ounces of tomato and basil Philadelphia cooking cream.